Hey everybody, welcome to the week that was. I actually got some reading done, so there's actually a couple things to talk about, which is nice. Uh, first and foremost, obviously though, since it happened since the last week that was, Saturday we obviously had the interview with Adrian Tchaikovsky. Go ahead and take a look at that. That was awesome. He was very gracious. Don't remember if I finished the book before I did last week's update or not, but in preparation for that, I had finished Alien Clay. Knocked that out. I'm going to be getting a review up for that on Goodreads shortly. Uh, also, didn't quite finish, uh, but I should finish this week. I'm going to knock out the rest of Service Model. So those are both done. Uh, Adrian has made it onto one of uh, my list as a new favorite author. He's got a couple other things coming. So yeah, I'm looking out for those. Uh, what else did I finish? I also finished up Grave Peril, book three in the Dresden Files. Uh, again, I got to get I got to get reviews out for all of these. Uh, I did a lot of reading, didn't do a lot of writing. Uh, we'll work on that. And then I also finished up. Uh, a little short one called Graveyard Shift. That is by M.L. Rio. I'm trying to remember when that comes out. All right, so that one comes out September 24th. I'll get a review out sometime this week for that too. So you know whether you want to pick it up or not. It is a novella. It is very short. I listened to it on Libro.fm. Uh, thanks again to Libro for getting me the advanced listening copy. Always appreciated. And that is it for finished. Like I said, I, I'm books that I'm over halfway through. I'm over halfway through Service Model. I'm also over halfway through Son of Thunder. And I think that's everything I'm over halfway through on. I also just got started on... Got to remember the name of it. I also just got started on The Courting of Bristol Keats. Uh, that is by Mary Pearson, and that book comes out in November. Too early to tell you what I think about it yet, but I did get started on that. And then obviously, as I finish up a couple things here, I am going to get back to When We Were Birds, I promise, and A Good Family, which I owe you guys a review on. Uh, I like that one. I've just gotten really, really buried I should have, as I mentioned last time, I should have some more time to read, though, now, uh, since I don't have anything absolutely positively have to do. Uh, I do have the interview with Josh Mallerman coming out on October 2nd, but I've already read the book, so I'm good there. Uh, I may rewatch Bird Box just for fun before that, too. So that is it for the reading front. Um, like I said, I actually did get a few knocked out. I'm behind on reviews. I will get that caught up this week. And then just continuing on. Uh, also, I hadn't done one in forever. I did drop yesterday a review of the new Wolverine number one for 2024 that just came out. So probably not going to go full in on the comics again, but I do have a couple in the pipe uh, because of the fact that there's actually a couple titles that dropped that interested me. And there hasn't really been anything super exciting uh, lately, at least not to me, or I just plain missed it because I've been busy. So if you had a great comic come out and you're a comic book author, I apologize. I, I just didn't catch it. And obviously I'm still a little Marvel biased over DC. I know there's some good DC writers out there. Um, oh my goodness, I just blanked on his name. The guy who does the Batman ones. There's a Z in his name. Oh my word, I apologize. Y'all know who I'm talking about. More If you're a comic book fan, more than likely. All right. That is probably it. Uh, nothing scheduled big this week. Just going to knock out some reviews that I owe you guys and keep reading. So, I hope you all have a good week and I will catch you later. <laughs>